Hey everyone, welcome back to another world creation tutorial. This is part seven. This is going to be publishing your world and beyond. It's going to go over a few um, topics that I saw come up in a few questions on the Discord, and it made sense to kind of use it in this uh, world from my uh, original series where I built this world. I'll link to that in the description as well, so you can go follow along if you're uh, new to my channel. Uh, but this world is uh, completely done. I just added a light to realize I didn't actually save it when I did lighting, which was part six. Um, it's got a light, it's named. We can publish it and I'll talk a little bit about how that works and what you can do once a world is published. So uh, let's say you have a cool world like this, it's all published um, and you're proud of it and you want to share it with the uh, community. What you need to do is you need to publish it. Uh, unpublished worlds are still accessible, like you can link to them, you can uh, open them, you can host sessions on them, but uh, they can't be found in the world browser. So to add them to the world browser, you need to publish it. How do you do that? I'm glad you asked. Let me turn on private UI here for a second. Let's uh, render private UI. Inside your inventory, uh, within the Neos Essentials folder, you'll find this platform here. It's the one just to the right of the VHS player uh, folder. Here's the platform. Um, and all you need to do is put a world orb on this circle here and then hit the submit button. You can also find this platform in the Neos hub. It's in the center of the world browser that's at the start of the Neos hub and that's what it's from. It's just a nice little edit version. I usually spawn it in the world that I'm building in just simply because it's self-contained. How would you get a world orb for your world? If you go to the session menu, you can see here there is a get world orb button. Push that, it will get your world orb and then you can just chuck it onto the platform here. Once it's on the platform here, just hit the submit button, then do not touch it. Um, I've seen other people pull it back out, just don't touch it. Once it says submitted, it will fly up. And then uh, when it turns back to the name of the world again, then you can touch it. With that done, you can go ahead and delete this platform. You don't need it anymore. And you can also delete this world orb. Um, I'll do a separate video on this, but world orbs aren't what you think. They're just a link to the world. They're not the actual world. So don't worry about deleting the world orb. That doesn't delete the actual world. Um, once I published a world, I usually just do a save as well. I do save, save. I haven't changed anything, but I just like to do that just after I published it, just in case I'd forgotten to. Because it means that the, uh, the published date is exactly what I see here. Um, if you publish a world orb and you haven't saved, then it means people that would load into it would see an older version of the world. So I just do a save after you published it. That's how to publish it. I'm going to go ahead and close this. So we're going to do close. I'll uh, do close and save. And we're back in my home world here. And I'm going to open up the world browser. And so if I go worlds, browse worlds. Uh, and then we go back to... Uh, the world browser here, you won't see it on the world browser just yet. And that's because uh, this is cached, what's called cached. It basically means it takes a few minutes for it to update and a few minutes for you to see uh, new worlds on there. So uh, there is a little trick that you can do to kind of sort of trigger a cache sometimes, which is uh, if you go ahead and make a new world and then spawn a world browser within that, sometimes that'll do it. Uh, looks like it hasn't done it there, but that's that's fine. We can go back to the world using the My Worlds menu. The My Worlds menu will show all the worlds that you have um, created and you can visit any of them. So you can see here, here's a huge list of worlds that I've created, most of which aren't published, but that's fine. Um, you'll see it's this one here, which is the world we were just in. And again, it's not, it's not published and that's because of the cache here. I think we're gonna have to wait for a cache clear. So whilst we do that, I'm just gonna hang out for a second here. I hope your day's going fine. Go ahead, close this temporary world. Uh, take another look, see if it, uh, see if it appears there. Push the new. There it is. So I uh, just uh, took a few pushes and a few uh, opens and it's right there. So desert meeting space. We can go ahead and open this world up. I didn't set the spawn area. Um, that's bad of me. I will do that. Uh, I will have to follow my own advice there. I think part one or two covered the spawn area. So now we're in um, a world. Uh, it's actually a perfect example of um, the next topic, which is how to update a published world. So I saw someone had a question about this. Um, the way that you update a published world is just save it. Just save over it as normal. So I can make any changes to this world, save it again, and the published version will be updated. You don't ever need to republish a world. Um, that isn't a requirement. You can just save and save and save and save and save. So all the worlds that you've been to that I own and other users with Aeneas have owned, if they've changed recently or they've had updates to them, um, those are the exact same worlds. They've just been saved over. Um, 
that's uh, that's how you make updates to a world. Um, I think the only other topic I had for this uh, this video is how to delete a world. I knew that one also came up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and quit out of this world and show you how to do that as well. So let's do discard changes. And then I'm going to pull open a world that I don't need. Uh, I don't think I need file test. Yeah, file test was when we were testing file writing. I don't need that. So to delete a world, it's a little bit convoluted. What you do is you open it in your My World menu. So go to Worlds, My Worlds, find the world, file test, get the world orb for it, click it, it will bring out this side menu, open the side menu, then hit delete, and then delete down there twice. Delete, actually you have to do both, sorry. So it's the, you delete, and then you do the bottom one, and then the top one. We'll do that again with another world. This has a lot been a long time coming. Um, pew pew can go as well. So we'll delete pew pew as well. So you open up this menu, hit delete here, delete there, and then delete there. And then it's gone. Again, this will take a little while to um, clear the cache. Um, so don't expect it to go from the Why My Worlds menu um, immediately. The other thing that you can do is you can go into your inventory and find where you might have put that world orb and delete the world orb from there as well. I've got a uh, folder that I usually save um, things like that to, but I don't appear to have it here. So file test might actually be in the SSGFR folder. It is, it's right there. So I can just go ahead and delete that one as well. And now it's deleted. So that's how you delete a world. So we've covered publishing a world, updating a world that's been published, and uh, deleting a world. Those were the advanced uh, world management topics I wanted to cover. Um, if there are any other world management topics, do let me know. I can always do another part, but I uh, hope that helps someone out. Pretty short one. I will see you next time.